that. Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick, Homeland Season 6, Episode uh, 9, uh, Sock Puppets, sock Michelle puppets. Alonzo. So yeah, Sock Puppets, we now know what's going on in the weird, scary building. Yeah, yes, oh my gosh, and it's <laughs> what, a right wing propaganda group slash, I mean, they're involved yeah. in the bomb, they're kind it's, of involved in everything. It's, yeah, it, it's, it's fake internet accounts, and you usually hear about these sort of things happening in like the third world or somewhere where people will have these sort of internet farms of people who just manage all these fake accounts and you know the I guess like when you when you you can pay those people and it's like how you can suddenly have a you know 10,000 new Twitter followers and it's like it's four <laughs> guys in a bunker somewhere you know so it's like the conservative version of correct the record uh, it's sort of, yeah. Like you could maybe argue that Frank the record was good. Anyway, <laughs> we're not going to get into that. But yeah, but but basically, they're they're out there, sort of, you know, trying to manipulate public opinion and present this false front of people who feel a certain way. We don't know about what yet, but we assume it's about like let's get tough on Iran, since that's what this whole season has been about, apparently. Yeah, and it <laughs> seems like it. It they I, a lot of the profiles that were popping up were military based, and it seemed like they were pushing. Is that the same guy who also released the video? I thought it was. Of Keen's son. Oh, the guy uh, doing the interviews. No, you mean the Alex Jones guy? Yeah. No, no, that's different. That's a different. Okay, guy. he looked so similar that I was like. I mean, I think. You know. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't. Yeah, I don't no, think that's the same guy. Right. But yeah, so so we, we we find out about that. Uh, we we Majiv gets hauled off by Mossad. Yes. Because. Uh, Fucking Dardal, man. He just <laughs> he's not having any of this. Yeah, that's because I know last week we were talking about what Dar knows, yeah. and it really seems like most of it he knew, except maybe the part about him them killing, killing uh, uh, Astrid. A Astrid, well, obviously, and that and she wasn't the target. Right, but he did but, know that the gunman went there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he was the one, and that is the same guy who put the bomb in the vehicle. So yes. Whoever this contractor is, yeah, and I'm assuming still that he's a mercenary, but he was at that building. So what? how is it all tied together? That's what I'm really uh, yeah, interested that's, in. Yeah, I mean, definitely the pieces are coming into play. So I, I would have liked, there's this, the scene I would have liked to have seen in this is how do, how do Saul and Kerry convince President-elect Keene to take a meeting with them after she's just been like, well, fuck y'all, I should never have listened to you, you're full of shit. I, that was the exact same question I had. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah, she went so hard in the other direction. It yeah. would have been one thing if it was more neutral or or the way she had you know, moved towards Dar wasn't to walk away from them, it was just to in her mind. Right. You know what and I they, mean? And they had, they, 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 they had the good evidence, they had the recording of Nafisi and all that, yes. but, but I just wonder how they got, they got in. in the door. Maybe it's her assistant. Because they seem uh, to be talking to him. To Rob, yeah. Yeah, to Rob. So maybe they showed him the evidence and then he Could got be. them in. I just would have liked a little, little, just a scoosh of that. Um, totally. But yeah, so Majid, you know, was always awful. So, you know, <laughs> farewell, I asshole. I still feel bad for him. I don't know, even, okay. though, even though he killed he Bernie. Like, his I know family, he's, remember? <laughs> he's the devil, and I get that, but it's like that world of. I don't know. I guess no one's honest with each no, other. No, no, they're all kind of despicable. But he was. I mean, I don't want him to get out of this. Well. His, his despicableness was extracurricular. You know, it for wasn't sure. just about like foreign policy. It was like, oh no, I'm also going to murder my wife and daughter. You know, that's a for, really good for point. daring to leave Iran. So you know, he's a, he's the worst. Uh, but I guess in my mind, because Saul's trying to help him, I had like given uh, him. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I gave him a pass because I'm like I'm with Saul. Uh, well, yeah, so. and, and when he was going to maybe do some, be of some use or uh, do some good, sure. But once it what, yeah, it's like no, you're, you're awful. Go away. <laughs> Take uh, your forty-five million dollars. No, yeah, you don't want him living happily on a beach. Oh, in somewhere Costa Rica, with hell no, 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 no. Uh, and and then so so once uh, President-elect Keen knows that Dar is bad news, she has the meeting with him to try and get his list. But he can <sighs> he tell knows. she's not a good liar. She does not have a good poker face, no. and he sees right through that one. Um, and I love the conversation between Carrie and Saul. She's like, well, maybe you shouldn't have fucked a Russian role. <laughs> oh, well, coming from a woman who fucked a guy in a suicide vest, that right. really means something. <laughs> yeah, that was the best line in the whole episode. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah, and in the storyline, what we have going on now with um, with uh, the character of Max yes. going back to what happened with his wife, and I'd almost forgotten that. By the time we got to right, that right, scene, right. Um, I thought the whole thing about the meth was understandable. I was a little surprised that Eminem was <laughs> meth and masturbation because the first thing that I think of after I lose 
the person I love is probably not to lock myself in a room and masturbate. Uh, <laughs> you know, every, there's an interesting it, choice of people deal with grief in different ways. It's very true. You know, they're it's all valid true. in their own. Uh, no as judgments. long as they're not self-destructive, the meth probably not such a good idea. Probably. Uh, and then I, I, you know, we seem to have there's some. There's a possibility that the Franny situation might be getting better. She's she's got a meeting coming up, so that's happening. Yeah. Now, how is that going to go down now, though? Because we know Dar's the one pushing. Is this like? Well, I think Dar kind of reported as a as a as a you know Tipped as a concerned off. citizen. Yeah. So it, it doesn't seem like the the social worker is like in cahoots. I think she just you know took the information. Was like, oh, thank you for letting me know. Yeah. And uh, so at this point, you know, he may try and. Do more stuff, but now it's actually in channels, so yeah. Carrie can defend herself. I hope, and you know, yeah, it was it was just a tip. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's interesting though to watch what he does know because I I still think he knows more than what we were thinking he knew Dar? in the last. Yeah, no, I, I look, I I, I would I not be surprised if every single conspiracy happening this season all goes back to him, and I, it seems to be leaning in that direction in, in one way or another. How you know we have to see how he ties into the internet farm, but I think probably there too. You know, yeah, and but what the what his end game is I don't know it's like does he want war with Iran does he want more sanctions is this about Mossad like who's benefiting from all this yeah that's what I was wondering because I was a little surprised with him pushing the war with Iran unless he wants it it's like that's a really big risk to take just to get someone to listen to you sure or is it just that's about man manipulating the new president and, you and know, that's yeah. what I'm assuming it is but it's like it's is it worth is it worth it? Well, it's funny because you know there's been talk about how like oh these guys they thought there was going to be a woman president and they missed the boat, yeah. but now it's a show about a president who does not trust the intelligence agencies and vice versa. So you know, six of one, half dozen the other. Yeah, I totally. <laughs> that, it's felt very applicable the whole season totally. to me with what we're watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The insurance right. agencies vying, or the insurance, the, uh, <laughs> intelligence. <laughs> intelligence agencies <laughs> vying for um, vying for that control and the power in in these conversations. Yeah, I mean it's funny because you know I, I watched the show with the, the the closed captions on, and in the in the opening credits where you hear the, those voices in between, you know the revolution will not be televised. Some of them are news things, you know. Totally. So it's like Jason Chaffetz is the guy asking the question, like you know what agency was it with, and the guy saying I can't say that in an open committee, you know. So and I was watching you know Comey this morning, and yeah. it, that that just feels like it's this show. So you know, yeah, well I love, done, Homeland. Yeah, <laughs> that that opening credit sequence, I, I love. That whole credit sequence. It is so modern. And the 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 revolution will not be televised was such a big thing for the Bernie campaign. Yes. So it's really interesting when they <laughs> mesh those two together. This I was is like, true. wow. So yeah, great stuff this season. Uh, we're we're winding down to the last few. So we're you know we're gonna find out what happens and what Dar <laughs> did and how he did it and how they're gonna stop him. So join us for more next week. Thank you.